Hey there, everybody. Mickey Bob here, owner of Mickey Bob's Pharmaceutical and Lumber Supply Company. Not to mention I'm a badass mother and I'm well endowed. He certainly is. Oh, Tiger. Ha. Why don't you go get Mickey Bob a nice cold one? I'm going to tell everybody about this clown called the Lumber Baron of Jasper County. I hear a rumor. Some of you people like this guy. Do you really want to buy your lumber from this? I mean, look at this guy. Cornball City. That's some good lies. What the hell is this? Is that even English? What's with that getup he wears? I mean, he's all freaky dicky. I remember, America. You've been warned. Lumber Baron does it all with one hand. Well, let me tell you about a man who sells his wood throughout the land. Come donkey time, he takes a stand and does it all with just one hand. Cause he's the Baron, the Lumber Baron of Jasper County. Did somebody say number? Well, come on down here, Jasper County. Hey, we'll sell you some lumber. Lumber! We got the two by four, six by six, number three, two by six. Yes, yeah, pine. Freshly treated. It's a lumber extravaganza. 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 The king of the world! So what'd y'all think? We're gonna play this in all the local channel stations. Pretty good, boss. Yeah, this is Pete, our yard man. He also had an idea for a commercial, but it was like stupider than hell. It went something like this. It ain't easy yard man at the Lumber Baron Incorporated Lumber Yard. Watch out, Pete! Ah! I bet you can't beat that! That's why I drink plenty of Gator Brew. Allie's Gator Brew. It'll drunk you. I went ahead and just saved him the embarrassment, and uh, he went with my idea and stayed. Hey, Ashley, what'd you think? Oh, yeah, I liked it. I really did. It gets better every time. Let me tell you how to sell some lumber. You put me in that commercial. I mean, look at this. Anyway, I started working here a couple years ago as an intern, helping with the office work, you know, paying bills and stuff. That was before the Lumber Baron became the Lumber Baron. At the time, business wasn't doing so well. Oh, wow. Everything all right? I don't know what's going on here. It's these reports. How are we losing money? That's when he came up with the Lumber Baron character. We did a few ad spots in the local paper with him dressed up. Then one day he just came on into work and... Morning, Ashley. Hi. <laughs> He had just taken on a new persona and it just stuck. At first I thought it was kind of weird, but then I realized there's some allure to it. Well, it looks like sales are up. People love the lumber baron. Oh yeah? I think I'm kind of into him too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? What's that? I think it's about time you got your own office. So that's how I ended up in here. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like having my own space and everything, but I miss being so near to the Lumber Baron. Ashley's a pretty good one. She's a great little employee, yes. She's like one in a thirtieth. That means you take like 30 people, put them in a row. Hell, you pick her every time. That's how good she is, right? You know what I'm talking about. And i tell you another thing. She can hold her liquor. I remember on Christmas, I went and spiked the eggnog with moonshine. <laughs> Baron, this is some dang good eggnog. Mm, 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 mm. Hello? Hello? 
Hello? Oh. Ha. <laughs> Lover Bear, are you gonna come see this stupid like a customer out here? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, are you sure you're excused? Yeah, she's also real smart and good with computers too. It's like getting two for one, right? She started this whole new thing called Ask the Bear, it's where people can send us in these questions for me to answer. You just talk to the red can right here. Now, oh, looks, right there. Mm -hmm. Looks like we got a customer now, and his name is Maple Oak Love sixty nine. Soap Lumber Baron, it's, uh, Maple Oak Love sixty nine. Uh, huge fan of you and Wood. Huge fan. Uh, can't get enough Wood, uh, especially the Wood you sell, Lumber Baron. Uh, okay, it's kind of weird. You know, Lumber's pretty tits too. Well, I'm having second thoughts about this whole Ask the Baron thing. You know, all we got is like stupid people sending in jackass moronic questions. But then, then when you get this kind of message... That's right, losers. Mickey Bob's got the better wood. You tell them, darling. Y'all suck. Why don't you go warm up the other girls for me? Yes, Mickey Bob. Now look at here, Baron. I hear about this. TV show you got going on on the World Wide Web. I don't think that's such a good idea. I think you better stop it. Now you've been warned, son. Don't make me come over there. I got a pillow fight I gotta get to. Enjoy the loser reel. Alright, girls! Who's ready for Mickey Bob? Woo yeah! Woo Come on! When Mickey Bob tells you to stop doing something, the only thing you can do, the only thing, just keep doing it just to spite the son of a bitch. And that got me thinking more about Ashley and all the trouble and work she put into this whole Ask the Baron thing. And I decided that I was going to do something really special to take some work off her plate. Gator brew time! All right. Got some good news. Oh, yeah? My Yankee cousin from up north going to come in and help us out. What do you mean? I would need a little push. On the business end, he's gonna come in, fix some stuff. He's gonna be our store manager. Huh? Yeah. What the hell? Store manager? That's completely me. I would rock that job. I'd even wear a, a lumber baron queen hat. And I'd look hot in it. Howdy, George. Hey. What you getting today? George is our star customer. Not really. He's a moron and a general pain in the ass. Baron, it's George. I got a couple questions for you. What's your favorite kind of wood? How are you so popular with the women folk? Do you sell these? Got any tips on how I can be popular with the women folk? How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck chuck wood? Do you make house calls? You want to meet up sometime? Do you like Gator Brew as much as I do? What's your favorite restaurant? When do you think man will be able to land a rocket ship on the sun? Whoa, whoa, man, that's just way too many questions. Ashley, we gotta have to put a cap on this. Two questions per customer. I don't really like customers. We got a 16 foot span. Interesting. <laughs> this has gotta go. Oh, can I help you? I'm here to help you. I'm Mike, Dave's older cousin. Who's Dave? Uh, I believe he means a lumber baron. Oh, Mike, you seem to be dressed up. This is dressed down for me. Look, we gotta open this whole section up. Hey, get rid of this, get rid of that, that will get rid of this, and that. We're gonna make this place look professional. Uh, you do know this is a lumber supply store, right? I know what this is. Look, I have a vision of its future. Uh-huh. Cousin! How you doing, man? It's so good to see you! <laughs> hey, Dave, how are you? Good Who the hell's you. Dave? I think you mean the Lumber Baron. Oh, hell, the Lumber Baron. Hey, uh, uh, Lumber Baron, my bad. Uh, nice ring. Oh, he wants you to kiss it. Kiss the ring. 
<laughs> that's a that's a hand kiss. That's that's how we kiss where I'm from. Look back up. You know, on Wall Street. That's where I hail from. New York City. <laughs> hey, um, can't wait to see your yard. Hey, I'll show it to you. Hey, grab the phone there. Get Pete on right. horn. Yeah, hey, tell Pete to, to pull the limo around. Pull the limo around. All right. The limo, cuz. Well, this is the limo. Where's the hat? I told you when you drive the limo, you gotta wear the hat. I have to. Yes! Now put it on. Put on the chauffeur's cap. Go on. Put on the hat. Be professional. That's why I brought Mike in here. To learn us all how to be more professional. Now you see that right there, Mike? That is professional. Ain't it? You're getting there. Through the warehouse! <laughs> Come on, man, get in there. Hop on in. Yeah. Come on, Pete. Give us a ride. Ride to the warehouse. Woo! Nemo! Nemo, man, come on. Come on, ready? How you riding, Nemo? Come on in. Nemo. Come on, man. Warehouse. Come on. Woo! Wait the thing up, man. Let's go. Let's go. We ain't got all day. We ain't got all day, Pete. Warehouse. And I really don't appreciate him taking up all the Lumber Baron's attention. Hey man, welcome to Ask the Baron. Now this here's where customers send the Lumber Baron, that's me, videos. This here's my cousin Mike. <laughs> what? Are we on right now? He's our new store manager. Go not, on and not, say hi, I'm man. I'm prepared for this. Right, go so say hi, man. No, cuz. Hey. Think. Think I can work with this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, soon. When people hear the word Lumber Baron. They're gonna think professionalism. Hey, look at this. Jesus Christ! Roadkill on stick. Here's what you do. You use your successful online pharmaceutical drug company to your advantage, and you use that to build up your self-confidence to rise up to become the person that you need to be to get this chick to take her clothes off. Uh, Hope it works out for you, man. You see, that's what we do here. We help people in need. Look, I, I, I think that we can tweak this just a little bit. Now, you think so? Yeah, absolutely. Look, look, I think that we can make this come out to our advantage and not get involved with drug dealers. Now, you see, that's why I had you. You're always thinking uh, with your head well, instead of something lower, you know, like when you go to Double D's and the big O. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, well, let's, let's just turn this off. After being here for just a few minutes, I can see the infinite possibilities. We're gonna have some policy changes around here. There's gotta be some reason he left Wall Street, right? I mean, some kind of embezzlement or scandal. I can just envision him with a transvestite hooker. I don't know why, but that thought just pops into my head. I do have strange thoughts sometimes. I'm still thinking Queen Hat. Wouldn't that be awesome? How are you doing? Loading up. Hell, <laughs> you are. Read the sign. Where's your ticket? Let's well, have a ticket before louding. Oh, okay. The first order of business was to find a meeting room. It wasn't anywhere feasible inside the office, so an idea popped in my head. Why not utilize a temporary table we can construct out in the warehouse each morning? I figured this would be a perfect job for Pete. First, I would like to thank Pete this morning for setting up the table. Come on. Uh, all right, well, welcome to the first Lumber Baron Supply Company Incorporated's morning meeting. I like this. It's like we're in medieval times and we're like knights of the round yeah. table, you know, King Arthur and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, queen. What? You said it hit the rectangle. We should get it around. Well, oh, I know that I have a very difficult task ahead of me. Goddamn soldier here, Pete. Fill me up, man. Gator brew time, 24-7. So you can have one of them gator brews, man. No, no, thank you. Uh, uh. 
Let's talk about the use of power words. Oh, you mean buzzwords? Buzz what? Yeah. I'm catching the buzz. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Not buzzwords, power words. Uh, what I've done is I've compiled us a list here that I would like us to take and incorporate in our everyday speak, make us a much more effective team. Oh man, these are so buzzwords. Buzzwords, I love it. That's why I hired this man, buzzwords. No. Good job, cuz. <laughs> Keep it up, man. I'll be in my office. It's okay, it's okay. All right. At least I laid some groundwork to build up an effective communication platform. Hey, look, here comes a customer. Now look, I want you to use some of those power words, okay? Bazzoom. Stop it. Good afternoon, sir. I'm Mike, the new store manager. I remember you, Wall Street City Boy. Uh, today, Ashley will be ringing up your purchases. Hey, Ash. Hey, George. How's your mom and him? I'm doing all right. Using Synergy, Ashley, myself, and our yard man, Pete, will pull our resources together and get you the most bang for your buck. Okay. <laughs> Power words, don't forget. So, George, what can I get you today? I need to do some figuring. <laughs> Look, I, I know I'm a hard act to follow, but maybe if you use the cheat sheet, maybe that'll help you out there. Okay? You got something I can jot down some notes on? Ah, there you go. So, uh, you building a deck? Yep. What we got here is power words. Use them. This pressure-treated lumber has diversity and show-stopping bandwidth. The cleanest wants to do some siding. And you know, I don't know nothing about that. Well, right here, this is our best brand. It's a... It's a turnkey uh, solution for your integration techniques of ideation. What? What are you talking about? I'm talking about sustainability and streamlining robustness. And what? what I'm sorry, I just want to buy some side and I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about uh, showcasing sustain, 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 uh, synergy. Okay, uh, you're using some really big words. Maybe I just need to set Cleetus down here. He, he could talk to you because, you know, he reads the dictionary word, and he word, likes some big words. Key, term, I have no kudos. idea, honey. Give it up. Good afternoon, customer. Hey, Pete. Hey, George. Uh, it's good afternoon, buzzword. Now, and it's morning, and your power words. I need to requisition a ticket. What? Uh, trying to think outside the box. You need to give me capacity. Huh? Are you having a paradigm shift? Pair of what? Where's your ticket? I ain't got one. Well, go get one! God, how many times I gotta tell you this? George has really gone off the rails, building that deck of his and all. Man, at least he's thinking proactively. It's a win-win situation. I don't think, I don't think the people are getting these power words down. Oh yeah? Well, I'll tell you what it is, they ain't smart like us. They ain't got the blood we got, cuz. <laughs> they ain't got the lumber bearing blood. Tell them to come up with their own list of buzzwords. That's what I did. Look here. Daggum, yippy skippy, frog licking, moss growing, darn tootin' son of a gun. That's a good one. Biatch! Hey, boy, what you been doing? Hey, hold on, I got more, ain't you? What'd you just say? Donkey time! Turns out that the power words didn't translate the way I'd hoped they would, huh? What the heck does donkey time mean, anyways? I don't even want to know. It's all trial and error, anyways. Besides, I have some more ideas on my sleeve. I've been looking for ways to expand our product base and potentially attract some new clientele. That's when I came across this manufacturer in Brazil. And what they have is a mixed vitamin supplement called Asai. Tell you what, 
That dadgum aside, some yippee skippy kind of stuff down yonder in his house. <laughs> right on, boy. Hey, man, how many points do you think I got in there? You heard those buzzwords, hey, right? We're not yeah, using so. buzzwords anymore. Moving on. That's a buzzword. Moving on. <laughs> what I've done is I have got this. And what we have here is a Lumber Baron's Asai Mystery Extravaganza. Is extravaganza a buzzword? It's on my list. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it sure is. <laughs> so, Lumber Baron, what do you think? Looks redonkulous. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's a good one. Let me write that down. Yeah. Uh, please. Uh, people. Please, let's refocus. Focus. Buzzword. Buzzword. Not sure, but it's a lot of points. Oh, like a sound. Probably. I'm going to win, win. That means you win twice. That would be so cute. No. So, Mike's big merchandising fiasco. The Lumber Bear and Acai Mystery Extravaganza Pills, which was supposedly just a bottle of Acai Berry Vitamins. Now, I love Mike to death. Actually, I don't. His job should be mine, but being the better person that I am. Anyway, you wouldn't think that customers at a lumber supply store would be interested in an Asai supplement. And you would be right. Uh, Kai? Mystery extravaganza. What the heck's this? I don't know. Something Mike's trying to pedal off on people. Uh, five bucks. Y'all must be crazy. Yep, didn't sell one bottle, and it wasn't for my lack of trying. Oh, girl, I don't need no bag. You sure? Yeah, let's go into Cletus, and he don't need no bag. All right. <laughs> oh, now this looks interesting. Um, no. Ugh. Well, thank you kindly. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. See you later. Hey, Kai. What the heck's this? I ain't never heard of that. What's it do? I don't know. I just work here. In fact, the only person really taking any was the Lumber Baron, and he seemed to develop this kind of obsession with them. So I tried to pull his attention away by wearing some skimpy clothing. Hey, Lumber Baron. Hi there. You're just sighing. You're pretty good. Oh, yeah, they look, um, delicious. Get your own sigh. These are mine. After a week or so, I started to notice him becoming a little paranoid. What are you doing? I'm making copies. Of what? Invoices. Let me see that. Why are you trying to hide? I'm not trying to hide. Yes, you were. No, I'm not. Uh-huh! You're lying! I saw you do it! I just need some information here, just sir. Just put it on tab. Uh, your account number? What are you stupid on the tab? Uh, we need to talk. Do you know who that guy was? In the cornfield. At the cornfield? No one will hear us there. Come on. All right, let me call Pete to bring the limo around. Don't you dare. Here. He could be in on this too. Let's go. Jeez. He's here. He's on to us. It's Pete. He's in the limo. Yeah, he's going to show up every once in a while. He works here. Run. Run! In the cornfield! Go! Go, man! Go! Just keep going! Go! 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 Cuz! We barely escaped him, man. But we outsmarted him good. We did it again. Lumber Baron blood, cuz. Lumber Baron blood. You scared the crap out of me, Dave. Who the hell's Dave? Is there an invisible person out here? Dave, I'm at Lumber Baron. You gotta quit doing that, man. You gotta stop it. Oh, oh. oh you're using the ESI. Mm. Uh, how do you like them? They're awesome. Alright. Mm. Yeah. Well, about the reason I asked you out here. Mm -hmm. Ashley. Ashley. Saw her at the copy machine? Making copies? Okay, are you, are you sure you're feeling all right? Do I not look like I'm feeling okay? No, no, I'm just asking. Another thing. Okay. It's the customers. The customers. They're out of control. We gotta put a stop to them, man. 
Listen to me. Listen to every word I say. They're out to get us. They are out to get us. Give me my scepter back. Hey, uh, this will do you just fine. Uh, it's uh, fresh treated too, right? Hey, I saw your commercial the other day. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> Actually, I thought it sucked. <laughs> it sucked! You suck, you son of a bitch! I kill you! I kill you! Now, I tell you right now, any customer that comes around here, if they say anything derogatory about the lumber baron, any associates of lumber baron, you know, just run them out of here. This expresses opinion. Customers don't have opinions around here. You hear me? You got an opinion? You get expressing it too much, I kill you. You understand, my pay I live, but I will kill you. I kill you, dead. What the hell is this? I knew something was up. And I suspected it had something to do with Mike's big Asai epiphany. Total's gonna come up to 31024. You trying to rob me? That's what it is. Uh, let me step in here and I'm sure that we can do a little better, sir. Uh, how about $291.50? I just been down to Mickey Bob's and he don't charge half that price! <laughs> Did you just say Mickey Bob? Now, now, Mr. Lumber Baron, sir, you know me. I mean, no disrespect. You can take your money, Frog, and you can head on down to Mickey Bob's, and you can go to hell. Go to hell! Go to hell! Go to hell! Get off of me! Get off of me, you son of a bitch! No! Lumber Baron, no! This is an intermission! You can't have them! Get it up! There. You go to hell! You go to hell! You so screwed! Ah, no! No! Oh. Oh. Wait till I get out of here! You're so screwed! Just you wait! Wait! had the Asai pills sent out and tested. I figured they'd come back with some speed in them or something. And it turns out they're just Asai flavored jelly beans. Yeah, this whole time the lumber baron was just suffering from an extreme sugar high. So much for Mike's big money making plan. Bail. It took a few days, but after that Dave, um, I mean the lumber baron, was back to normal. Or uh, or as normal as it gets. I'd like to apologize uh, for the pills. Um, hope that you're feeling better. I'm feeling fine. Yeah, you got a empty beer here. I, I'll just, I'll just throw this away for you. Welcome to Ask the Lumber Baron. I'm Mike, the new store manager. Well, yeah, Mike's decided he wants to do Ask the Baron for now, huh? Something about wanting to clean it up and be politically correct. You know, that don't bother me. I got better stuff to do anyway. Because here at Lumber Baron... Hey, man, what the hell's going on here? I can't find my scepter. I can't find it. Oh, I haven't seen it. I was out there in the yard and had it in my hand. Now it's gone. Where, where the hell did it go? I don't know where it went. I, I can't... Ashley! 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 Why, Ashley! Are you okay? Oh. I can't find my scepter. Oh. Have you seen it? No. Well, let me know if you do. I'll be back in the back looking for it. Yeah, okay. 
Anyways, feel free to send me any of your questions and you'll get an expert professional response back to you. Because hey, where's the lumber baron? We found a stick out in the yard. Do you mind? Not at all. Rowdy Brothers from Talking Rock. Talking Rock, yeah. yeah. Look, I, guys, I'm right in the middle of answering some oh. questions here. It, 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 you don't mind? I well, don't well, no, this is pretty daggum important because this is a lumber yeah. baron stick. And you I found it! You yeah. got found it! Ashley! 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 Hey, what? They found my shit, dude. These guys, they're heroes! That's good. Ye? Yeah. Don't yell for me again. Mike can do Ask the Baron all he wants. It's no skin off my back. But if something comes up with the customers that has to be dealt with while he's filming the show, well, that takes precedent now, don't it? So, building a brick. Hey, I actually need your help out of here. Go Come on, quick. Start with the we foundation. Not to we'll come right forward. there, boys. All right. What's going on here? Filling up the brick tire. It's flat. Whoa! Whoa! What the heck is that thing? I'm trying to answer some questions here. I can hear what you're saying right now. This air compressor is on. Well, I'm trying to answer some questions. Well, now that I think about it, I'm likely to just sneak on in there when Mike's at lunch and answer some of them questions myself. Hell with it. Hi, Lumber Baron. I've been watching your show. My girlfriend and I, we get off on your commercial. It's like really hot. <sighs> and we were wondering, can you come by after work and reenact it for us? Mm. Oh, hey there, Lumber Baron. Damn it! What the hell? It, it's me, John. What? Well, you can't be interrupting him. He's doing the Ask the Lumber Baron series. Well, that's good. I sent him a question and he never responded. I can't imagine why. But since I'm here, I'll just ask it now. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta submit it on video just like everybody else. You can't just come in here asking questions. <laughs> in my experience with business, it's become clear that the key to success is simply not giving up. Hmm. Everyone's prone to failure, but at some point, something has to work. Pete. What? Oh, it's just meeting time. Trying to work. Look, meeting time. Now, you can do that later. This is something I've been a little bit slack on, okay? We need to talk about employee uniforms. This is my uniform. I know, but you're the lumber baron, okay? And that's what you wear. And I am the store manager. This is what I wear, but all the other employees have to abide. You mean me and Pete. Exactly. Now, I ain't wearing no uniform then you are not gonna work here. Then I quit. It's kind of um, unexpected what happened to Pete today, isn't it? Not in particular. Look, uh, you've been acting a little strange since uh, the uh, Asai incident. Okay, okay, I, sh I shouldn't have mentioned it, I shouldn't have mentioned it, but you know, you and Pete have a long history together, and. I was thinking that maybe you could call him up a little bit later and smooth things out a little bit. I don't have time for this crap! You're the office manager! Do your damn job! Yeah. Yes, sir. I, I was just thinking that maybe it would... I said better. all I'm gonna say. Either you call somebody else to do the job, you hire Pete back, or you take off the suit and you do it your damn self! That's it! Either way, I don't want to hear about it. You hear me? I don't want to hear about it. Yes, sir. No problem. Maybe more than just one job opening here in the near future. I'm talking store manager and spending lots of quality time with the lumber baron. People around here are getting a little on edge. It's all right. Change is always difficult. Bottom line is, though, how hard can it be to replace one simple yard employee? <laughs> I've been in this business my whole life. It's all I know. Say no more. Welcome aboard. You are a perfect fit for our yard man position. Yard position? I think not. Excuse me? Well, I work indoors. In air conditioning. In management. Really? Well, the Lord's been good to me. I haven't had to work since 2003. 
I like you, Trish. You got a lot of spunk, and your kids got to eat. So I, I want to give you a chance. What? She's wearing a dress, Mike. How's she supposed to work out in the yard in that? Well, she can take it off. What? Well, no, not that I want you to take it off or anything. <laughs> Look, I don't really want the job. What? Here. Take this, sign it. I need to draw my unemployment check. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now, I'll make a better Pete than Pete. I'm looking over your application here, and I gotta tell you, I'm impressed, Ethan. Don't you think so, Ashley? Yeah. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and make a copy of your license. I'll be right back. Thank you. So when can you start? You, uh, you tapping that? Pardon? I would so smack that. She would walk straight for a week. You know what I'm talking about, right? Right? You wanna know what I think? I think that Mike doesn't know what the hell is going on with these interviews. You know you don't have to hire every single person that walks through the door. Ashley, I know that you're new to this, but you need to watch the master at work. I worked on Wall Street. I know how to hire people. Hello, uh, my name's Mike, and welcome to Ask hey, the Lumber Baron. Hey, you ready to ask the Baron? Ashley said you ready to do it. Well, yeah, hey, man, where's my gator brew? Well, we're on right What'd now. What you doing with my gator brew? I'd like to talk to you today about... Welcome to Ask the Baron. I'm the Lumber Baron. Just here, my cousin Mike. All right. <laughs> so, who we got today? Um, you know, look, man, I got to talk to you about something. This guy, Mike, you got on your show. You got to get rid of him. This suit, it, it's bad for business. Those guys, those those MBAs, they get you away from the true joy. And your joy is being the Lumber Baron. And my joy is watching the Lumber Baron. So I don't want to see that guy in the suit anymore. Please get rid of him. Hey, Joan from LJ here. Uh, I just wanted to tell you, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in the quality of the show ever since you brought that new guy in. He's got the uh, personality of a stump. Rowdy Brothers here from KYJ 95 FM. Talking rock. Talking rock. Every day from 4 to 10. We love your show, but we hate Mike. Yeah, that Mike, he looked like a real city slicker. Like he don't know nothing. What happened to Ashley anyway? Seriously, Lumber Baron, you gotta get rid of this guy. He's completely out of control. He's a freaking... Hold on a second. All right, Mike, this is your last warning, bitch. If I see you on the Lumber Baron one more time, just once, and I'm gonna fertilize my cornfield with your dumb, sweaty ass. Anyway, that guy, he's a dick. I'd like to thank you for letting bygones be bygones and giving me this year's job. You no know more, it's fine. I appreciate that. You should be able to start this soon. Just so you know, this is a trial today. I'm gonna see how you do, and then we'll talk a little bit more later. But what I need you to do right now, I need you to get those boxes put away. That lumber needs to move back out in the yard. The sack I don't need your in. instructions. I've done this kind of work before. What the hell are you doing in my lumber yard? I work here now. I like, hell you do. I do too. You do not. And what are you doing with my stuff in your car? What's that still fits in these boxes? You stealing from me, Frog? You stole from me. I'm stealing from you. I'm going to kill you, you son of a bitch. Frog, you dare in hell. One of the requirements for this job is that whenever you drive, you wear the hat. Whoa, there's no way I'm wearing this. Look, it's one of the requirements. Now put it on. Here comes the bear. That's your bitch. But you got limo time. Where's chauffeur go? <sighs> Where to, sir? To the mailbox. It's like... uh, yes, sir. Kiss the ring. So Ashley tells me you're the new yard man. Yes, ma'am. Well, bless your heart. Look at you all dressed up in your Fendi vest. Oh, well, thank you, miss. Well, Cleo sent me down here to get a culvert pipe. Do you think we could fit that on top of my car? So you'd need 45 12-foot pieces of siding. Um, do you not know where anything is on this yard? What are you, stupid? Ashley? Customer just called in an it, order. I'm going to need you to run down to Frost Pine Drive and deliver some 6x6s. Six six. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let me clarify this. You want me to go deliver something? Duh. What about my wood? But Where's not, my wood, man? I don't know if I can. 
Hey. Hey, you're all right there, man? How many more of these things you got? It's like a half dozen. I had no idea it'd be this hard. Well, if you want to sit this one out. Uh, Are you sure? Are you sure? Because the, the customer's always right. Yeah, right. man, I'm sure. I'll, I'll finish this up myself. <laughs> Good. This is sad. <laughs> Pete, you came back. Yep. Got a call from the lumber baron. Said you're looking for some good people. Yes, yes, yes I am. Well, I'm the next best thing. <laughs> Were you just crying? No, no it's that dust in my eye. Forget about everything I said. Forget about the stupid uniforms. You, you don't have to wear one. Yep. <clears throat> you know, my, you might eventually one day be a good store manager. Oh. Ever since Mike had his comeuppance and had to work out in the yard one day, I noticed a difference. Thank you, ma'am. You have a spectacular day. Thank you. Cletus again. <laughs> So, that's something different about you. You look different today. Just trying to streamline the company, ma'am. He done went and pulled that stick out of his ass. That's what he did. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a lot of big stick. It was humongous. <laughs> I think Mike had what you would call a paradigm shift in the corporate world. Or, as I like to put it, he started being less of a D-bag. Hey, Lumber Baron. High as an asteroid here. Formerly known as high as a kite. Kites just aren't high enough. Let me give you a shout out, Lumber Baron, for turning me on to these bitchin' new Acai Pills. Let me know when you need some more. Got a connection? I'll hook you up. Anyway, I've been hanging out with these cats from Jasper County, and they've been telling me this cornball local legend about a part rabbit part antelope, part man creature called the jackalope. Lumber Baron, tell me it's all bogus. Isn't this the most frightening thing? Another jackalope siding. What a load of crap. Honey, they wouldn't put it in the paper if it weren't true. And look at that, that is a picture of a bona fide jackalope. Jackalopes! I knew it! What are we going to do? Honey, don't get yourself in such an uproar. Uh, get your hands off the Lumber Baron, please. How can I not be in an uproar? He says jackalope side right there! And this is proof. This is proof. I knew it all along. This and that head on the wall that I killed. Jackalope head on the wall? Yeah, he didn't really kill it. He just thinks he did. Look right there. That there's the head of the jackalope. I killed myself while out on an excursion in Wyoming. Jackalopes aren't real. I looked it up on the internet. Good morning, everyone. I've been going over our numbers, and I've noticed a 2% bump in our profits since my arrival here. Uh, this is exciting news. Why the hell's Frog here? I was going to get to that once you got done yapping. Frog again? I thought you wanted him dead. Oh, I want him dead in hell, but the thing is, he's the only certified jackalope hunter this side of the Mississippi. <laughs> jackalope? Oh, please. Jackalope hunter. There ain't nothing humorous about this situation. Y'all got yourselves a critter in this town. <sighs> yeah, okay, Frog. Better believe it. Nothing a jackalope wants to do more than ruin your life. You like flowers? He'll eat them. You like a clean porch? He'll squat and dump on it. You like your privacy? He'll break into your house while you shower, masturbate. Wait, now hold on. No, what? it's true. It's all true. Now, I do. Pete, hang on a second. This is Frog, professional swindler, poacher, and meth head. Well, I don't have to listen to this. Wait. Don't leave, Frog. Okay, does convicted felon raise a red flag to anybody? She better keep her trap shut. I'm sorry, Ashy, but shut the hell up. Now look, y'all. I know we all freaking hate Frog, but he's the only one here who can protect us from this jackalope attack. Now, Frog, will you help us? Well, I reckon so. 
It's gonna cost you. Whatever it takes. Uh, hold on. How much? What's this? These are anti-jackrope weapons. They're gonna save your lives. I don't need one. I got my jackrope weapon right here. Check it out. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, do you really think a toilet plunger is gonna ward off a jackalope? Shut up! Now y'all ready to begin your professional training right here! Well, I'll have to see how the bank account holds up. Hey, y'all jackalope training over here? Well, that's a two year. Let me see if I can join in. That's gonna cost extra. Ah, he's all right. Wait, what? All right. Line up. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Well, now pretend that's a jackalope. Yank him to the ground. That's kind of a dick move, don't you think? Nonsense. Come on! Hit me with it! Hit me! Yeah! Now you're lucky that wasn't a jackalope! Ew! That's a dick move. Hey! Watch this. Ooh! <laughs> All right. Now, the purpose of this here exercise is to attract the attention of jackalopes. And why would we want to do that? Shut up. Now, start making them jackalope noises, boy. Queeja. Queeja. He ain't doing it right. He ain't gonna hold my scepter. Give me them horns, George. What are you doing? Queeja! I think I need to put a stop to it. Enough! What are you Enough. doing? Enough! Get down! No! I said get down! You just got ravaged by the creature! You and the jackalope to get you! Now! You make them jackalope noises, boy, or I'm gonna stick you with a knife. Please. Please. Louder! Please. <coughs> this banjo picking douchebag has gotta go. Mickey Bob, it's me. Make it quick, Froggy. I'm in the middle of something here. Everything's going according to plan. Got him right where you want him. They're sharing Ouija and everything. Ouija! Ouija? What's that? Come on, girl. Let's get on back down to Chinatown. Yes, sir. I got a problem. I'll call you back. Oh my god, Frog, what have you done? I'm gonna kick that boy's ass. Hey, boy. Huh? <laughs> oh! Here. Ew! Bugs everywhere. Ugh, oh, I'm sweating. Well, judgment day is coming. Y'all can either accept it, or you can keep on living your lives in denial and get butt raped by the beast. Choice is yours. I'm sorry, what was that? Toughen up, princess. Now I'm gonna show you how it's done. Yeah. This is nice. Good. It stands for baiting jackaloops. Nice and low. Nice and low. Watch close. Y'all hear that? Yeah. Sounds like something's coming from the woods. Could be one of them. Is it Judgment Day? Oh my god! Jackal! Get it, frog! Kill that thing! Oh my god, it's a real jackalope! What's up now, jackalope? Frog's gonna kick your ass! Frog, where you going? Ah! Guys, you guys! It's just Mike with a lumber baron's jackal of head in front of his ah, face. Man! Ah. <laughs> uh, some big jackal of hunter he is. <laughs> yeah, well played for once. Man, you scared us good. I thought you was a real thing. All my intentions were never to scare you, George. Ah, uh, that's all right. I knew it was you the whole time. I can't believe that frog turned out to be an absolute charlatan again. It was completely unexpected. I know it. And all that money I paid him. Oh, don't worry about that. I've already canceled those checks. Ah, good, thank you, cuz. 
That's why I hired this guy right here. Should we go drink some gator brew? Oh yeah. Come out here, you. What the hell? Somebody in there. Oh, stand back. Stand back. What? Oh, it's just Pete. Man, what are you doing in there? In the shed, man. Some little bitch frog shanghai me. Well, don't worry about him. He hightailed it out of here after Mike scared him with that fake jackalope head. Well, that's all well and good, but I still gotta beat his ass. Well, don't worry, man. You'll get him one of these days. I promise you, man. I promise you. Damn right. Well, you know what thing that blows my mind? There ain't no such thing as a jackalope. Yeah, there is. I seen one before. I told you I was in the shower. Oh know? God, Pete, we don't want to hear this. No, seriously, I was in the shower, I was lathering up my oh, nether Pete. region. Hey, and he was there Enough. looking at me. He was Enough. spying on me, and I was like, "You damn jackalope, I'm gonna kill you." And that was pretty scary. I sure I'm glad you scared the real jackalope off. What are you talking about, George? <laughs> Let's get out of here. Yeah. The new king of lumber is here. Now forget about all those other cats claiming to be royalty. Who's the real king of wood, baby? You are Mickey Bob. You're damn right. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about me, Mickey Bob. Oh, calm down, darling. There's plenty of Mickey Bob to go around for everybody. Where you want me, Mickey Bob? Kiss on the ring, honey. Yes, Mickey. Is that low enough for you, Mickey? Oh, you're gonna have to go a little lower, darling. All right. Just like my process. Uh huh. Oh, mama. You want the best screws, the longest boards, the most exotic hardwoods? Then come on over to Mickey Bob's and we'll take care of you. We'll, we'll take, take care, care of you. After they take care of me. God damn, I got wood. Mickey Bob's. <laughs> we got wood. Oh, that was so disgusting. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, terrible. <clears throat> That's what we need. That's it. We need sex. Lots of sex. Ain't that right, Mike? Hell yeah! <laughs> you mean women, right? Ash, what? Here's what we need. Get us ten women. Big old titties. And we're gonna put them in my lap. And that's gonna be our next commercial, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, add a girl, Ashley. If anyone can make it happen, she'll do it. Seriously? First off, how do you fit ten women on your lap? And second, am I not sexy enough? Would I not look awesome in lingerie? I would, but it's not necessarily that I want to do it. It is pretty degree, but I could wear a queen hat. Anyway, today's the two year anniversary of when I started working here and the lumber baron just asked me into his office and I think I'm gonna get a promotion. Well, Ashley, you've been working here for quite some time. Yeah, I have. Once you know, I appreciate all your hard work. Lumber you don't mention it. I got something for you. Oh. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. No peeking. All right, go ahead. Look at there. It's all yours. Go on. Don't be bashful. Yeah. Thanks. I knew you'd love it. Look at you. You crying and everything. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get back to work. Happy anniversary. Wow. Look at this. One of my many job perks. Lovely. Not only does he give me a dead animal head, but a fake one, a fake dead animal head. That's it. I'm calling my girlfriends, I'm going to a bar, and I'm getting trashed. Pete, have you seen Ashley? Nah, she's late. That's not like her, and she hasn't even made the coffee yet. No coffee? Uh, yeah. Not yet. Look, here, this is gonna be probably a two person job. Probably lead these stupid directions. <laughs> oh, hey, thank God. Ashley, Ashley, uh, look, can you help make some of this, this coffee? Well, okay. Yeah, I'm not really. Well, well you know, just, just tell me how many scoops, and I'll sit there and. <laughs> Respect staying out all night drinking. Not the best idea. Oh, well, he had. Hey, 
Ashley. Hey. Check it out. I got one of the Lumber Baron t-shirts from your website. Cool, George. Hey, what's this? <laughs> hey, it's George. <laughs> uh, oh, what do you want? Out. Seriously. How long is this going to take? Some folks got to work. Duh. Hey, check this out. That's oh, what Mr. Hoggy's pig feet. No, no, oh, no, no, no. Give it a try. Give it a, give it a try. Yeah, you'll dig it. Mm. Yeah. Try some of that. <laughs> Hope I didn't do anything stupid because I'm kind of fuzzy on last night. All right, so you see the tongue and groove. Oh, right? yeah. That goes together just like that. Now, close your eyes. I want you to envision this in your home. That does look pretty nice. Uh -huh. Hey there. I'm looking for Alice. You must be Mickey Bob. The one and only, baby. I've seen your commercial. It's a time that we've met. I've heard a lot about Hold you. Hold on, fellas. I'm not here for no seltzer's party. Just tell me where that little girl Alice is. Mike, you know I'm not feeling too good. I think I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> oh, hell. Hey there, little darling. Look, I don't even know what happened last night. Love happened. It was wild, girl. I made you mine last night, Alice. Ashley, actually. It was intense. God damn it, it was just downright super horrific. I was drunk. What the hell's going on in here? Burr. Mickey Bob. Now hold on, son. Get that damn thing out of my face. You ain't welcome here. It's all right. I just came to get my little girl Alicia here. Ashley. We found each other last night. And I rode her like a rodeo clown. Hoo-yah! Is this true? I don't remember. What the hell? I thought you were different. No, a lumber bear and wait! Hey, girl. You ready for another hunk of burning love? Put me down, you douchebag. That's all right. I can wait. Lumber Baron. I ain't talking to you. I'm sorry, I didn't even mean it. It was a stupid mistake. I was drunk. You and Mickey Bob? Unforgivable. But you're the one I care about. Did you hear what I said? And not in an employee boss kind of way. I have feelings for you. For real feelings. When you say feelings, what does that mean? I mean, feelings in like a king and queen kind of way. You mean? I've been trying to tell you this for like a really long time. What are you saying? I want to be with you. Hold on, just, just hang on. Everybody take a deep breath. I'm just trying to wrap my head around this thing. So are you saying you want to be with me? Yes, I do. Sorry, I think I'm on puke again. <laughs> well, you go on and puke, cause for all I know, you could be pregnant with Mickey Bob's hailspawn. Lumber Baron. I want you out of here. You go on and get. You heard me. Get! I said go! Get! Lumber get, Baron. woman! Get! Go! Go! Damn it! I don't want you ever coming back here again. You ain't fit to be no bare dance. Ashley. Are you okay? Yeah. I just need to go get my stuff. Mickey Bob is still back there. You want me to go get your things?
Jasper County at the Lumber Baron Inc. Lumber Yard. Dark times indeed. Well, hey Pete. Where the heck is everybody? Gone, I reckon. Found this out in the yard. Ever since Ashley pissed off the lumber band when she went and got drunk and then got banged by Mickey Bob, he ain't been back to work since. Kind of a messy situation. Howdy. I'm John from down in LJ. Been talking to the Baron there on the internet. You talked to him lately? No. I figured I'd come down and check up on him. Sorry, man. He ain't here. Well, at least I tried. Still got plenty of lumber, though. Nah. Hey, guys. Lumber Baron back yet? Can we get him on the phone right now? I see things that other people don't see. I'm a, how do you call it, observant. Let me tell you what I know about Mike. Look, I understand. No, Friday. Friday's the best I can do, okay? Friday. Pete, is there something I can help you with? Nope. I didn't see you on the phone or anything, if that's what you mean. Nobody goes from Wall Street to here without screwing the pooch somewhere along the line. And let me tell you from first-hand experience, that screwing the pooch ain't no fun. Now, I didn't screw no pooch or anything unless I'm getting any rumors started now. But that brings me to the most complicated of all matters. That between a man and a woman. Let me tell you about something I saw a couple weeks back. That's a huge damn spider! Pink, quick, the blood's water! Stand back! Stand back! I'm gonna get him! Yeah! Die, you son of a bitch! Yeah! 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 Lumber oh, Baron, <laughs> thank you. No mention it. Well, I killed him good, right? Yeah. I killed him. I killed him good. Go. On. I killed him good. Yeah, you killed him good, boss. Yeah, boss. I killed him good. Yeah. Killed him good. Yeah. yeah. Let's go get some gator brew. Seemed to me they were going to kiss there for a minute. Yeah, I think they were. Let me tell you something about love. Love's all about action. <gasps> My back! Help me! My back! It itches! It itches! I'll get it! I'll get it! Oh, no, no! Why did you get it? Howie! Howie! Itchy! Itchy! Can we scratch it? No! Itchy! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Itchy good! Itchy good! That's some good itchy! Itchy! Oh, yeah! Oh yeah, that's how you do it, Ashley. Love sometimes works best when the people that are in love don't even realize it. It's that tension. It's exciting stuff. Well, Ashley, you've been working for us for about a year now. Yeah. We made you a, a feast fit for a queen. Wow. Yeah, yeah, Lumber Baron even brought up the fried chicken. Yep, you're a pit girl. Go on, go on. You got a breath. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this looks good. So you, um, you really think of me as a queen? Well, you have queen-like qualities, certainly. Mm, I could see maybe wearing a queen hat. What do you think? Oh, that gives me an idea. We could have Pete be the court jester. Oh yeah, Pete! You could wear one of them jester hats. What do you think? I ain't wearing no jester hat. And then that magic tension gets all mucked up when the chick goes and sleeps with some douchebag. That's when everything changes. That's the thing I hate the most. Change. Pete, what are you doing here? Meeting time. It, yeah, but the, the Lumber Baron and Ashley aren't even here, so what would be the point? It's meeting time. Uh, I, I, I don't have anything prepared or... Um, well... Well, Pete, do you have any ideas on how to improve the lumber yard? I think you should have a gator brew. I hate uh, drinking alone. Okay, but you know that I don't ever partake of these during the day or anything. Try it.
Beautiful little yard you got here. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Mr. Um, Bob. That is your last name, right? Or is that part of your first name? So what's this I hear about the Baron being AWO? AWOL. He's on vacation. Now we both know that ain't true. Uh-uh. Sounds businessman. Look steady. Now where are you gonna go on breaking my heart with all these careless whispers and lies? I did me some investigating. You know, this place is in the crapper. I know all about your little personal Wall Street problem, too. What is it you want? I want you to be a happy man. I know this here ain't the place for you. You got dreams. You got aspirations. Now you get the Baron to sign this place off to me. I can help those little dreams of yours come true. Uh huh. We'll both be happy men. That ain't ever gonna happen, you pig. You villain this pig's why never. Never gonna happen. Now hold on there. Ain't no need for no name calling. You tell him to get out of here, Mike. You tell him right now. We don't want him here. Is that how you really feel, Mikey? Yes. All right then. But know this. My offer ain't gonna be on the table forever. You villainous pig swine! You never knock a man's beer out of his hand! You never... You don't do that to beer! You don't do that to beer! You pig swine! You pig... I kill you! I kill you! Change. It's coming. Fight the hell out of it every day, but it always comes. It always comes. Just went by the lumber baron's place. Still wasn't there. You heard anything? Nothing here. Maybe we should drive around and see if we can spot him. That's a good idea. Let's go get the limo. Lumber Baron? Lumber Baron's no longer with us. Call me by my name. Call me Dave. It's funny. How an alternate personality can just overtake a person. But when it comes down to it, it was, it was a choice. A choice I made to hide from reality. What the hell was that? Who keeps doing that? And in reality it came. And it smacked me right in the face. And that's when I knew it was time to return. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me let me drive you in the limo. Pete, the mailbox is right there. Well, I got my chauffeur's hat on and everything. <laughs> Pete, just walk into the mailbox. In that car, it's not a limo. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Here, have a gator breed. Put that away. If I catch you drinking again. I'm gonna have to fire you. Hey, Lumber Baron. It's Dave. You're the Lumber Baron. I don't believe it. <laughs> he does it all with one hand. <laughs> yeah. All right, so how can I help you, gentlemen? Hey, uh, Lumber Baron, can you go quiche for us? I'm sorry, what? Oh, you know. <laughs> Absolutely not. That's absurd. And how can I help you? There's the lumber baron. That don't look like no lumber baron. Can I help you? Silly goose, what are you doing out of your costume? I brought Cletus Jr. here to see you. <laughs> He's seen all your commercials. Excuse me, I'm really busy. You get back here, lumber baron. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were in here. Mike, wait up. I want to thank you for coming on board and trying to help out the company. You okay, Lumber Baron? I'm good, and it's Dave. Well, Dave, you're sweating. It's just water. I've been going over the reports, and we're losing money just keeping this company open. Well, the thing is, is that profit was up before the Lumber Baron left. Uh, Dave, people love the Lumber Baron, and with my advertising skills, you and I- Let me just stop you right there. You made the best of a bad situation. That's admirable, but it's time for both of us to move on. Now, Baron, you were a worthy opponent. I never thought you'd go out with a whimper. For the record, I don't like this. You want me to stick him with a knife? Now, Froggy, no need to get all dramatic like. At least, not yet. Hey, Mikey. Oh, the side deal we had going, you can just forget about it. Well, I wasn't interested anyway. And by the way, Mickey Bob, I'm not very impressed with your choice of employee. I'll put them jackalope horns back on you, boy. Okay, enough. 
So Mike tells me you're interested in buying the company. Oh yeah, we're interested, are we, baby? But we want you gone up on out of here. Oh, don't do that. It's disrespectful. You shut your yet. Aren't you gonna say anything to me? I don't think there's anything left to say. Okay, Mickey Bob. Mike's got some paperwork for you. You get with him later to finalize this deal. He's your go-to man from now on. I'm done. Slumber Baron, wait. I never slept with him. He wanted to, but I was too busy puking in his toilet. Now, Ashley, no need to embarrass yourself, girl. Slumber Baron, I'm still yours if you'll have me. Have some self-respect, girl. Well, come on. Get up. Get up on that pony called the Heartbreak Hotel. Yeehaw! I ain't forgot. Y'all still owe me panic. You're gonna let her go. Just like that. Why the hell wouldn't I? Interesting. She didn't actually do it. She didn't sleep with him. What does it mean? It doesn't matter. She doesn't like me anyway. She likes the other me, the, the lumber baron. Yep. Dave's gotta go. And I got an idea. Hey, what are these Asai pills doing out here? Mike? Mike? Thanks for meeting with me, George. Cornfield's looking pretty dead. What's this all about, Mikey Mike? This charade has gone on long enough. We need the Lumber Baron back. Can I depend on you? Oh yeah! <laughs> this is what I want to do. Right. So, Mikey, you ready to get this show rock out and roll on son? You know good son of a bitch, you deserve to rock in hell. You rock in hell! <laughs> Better put a muzzle on your little doggy there, I'm gonna sick my boy out right on. Read this. What was that? Calm it down. Pace yourself. Hey, Lumber Baron. Thinking about having some of these achy pills? No. And it's Dave. I think you should. Me too. Rowdy Brothers, back from Talking Rock. Talking Rock. Yeah, yeah, Talking Rock. We got your stuff. What the hell is this? This is an intermission. You mean an intervention? An intermission intervention. All right. If you guys aren't going to buy anything, you need to get out. They look good, don't they? Saw you're having a meeting out there. You really thinking about selling this place? That's none of your business. It is my business. I bought all my stuff here. Yeah. Let me ask you to try some of these. Purple Delicious. Give me those pills, George! Get out of the way! Treat them mine! You hear me? <laughs> it's donkey time! time. Donkey time! Give me my stamp here! All right, here's the paperwork. All you gotta do is sign in a few places. And Lumber Baron Inc. is yours. Better start saying your goodbyes, Mr. Wall Street. Cause I'm gonna tear this place down. Down to the ground. Shut it down. In your face, losers. Is that really necessary, idiot? Uh, hold on a second. Looks like your man didn't sign this one. You trying to pull a fast one? What the? I'm back, you son of a bitch! Lumber Baron! Holy Graceland! Deal's off! Get him, Pete! You better stop squirming. You don't know what it's like when a frog gets choked. Frog, that payment you've been waiting on? Here it is! Oh. Enough's enough, Baron! You better sign this goddamn paperwork! Enough. Hold on there, you back alley Sally! Release her, you son of a bitch! Stop tearing up that contract! Yes. Oh! Ow! Ow! Yeah, come back anytime you want your asses kicked again. I'm gonna sue you, you son of a bitch. It'll be your word against the lumber barons. Yeah, and who do you think's gonna win that, <laughs> right? I don't, honestly don't know. Hey man, about that debt problem of yours? Uh -huh. I got it taken care of. Uh -huh. Hey, you don't need to worry about such things. I got my ways, right? <laughs> right? Right, 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, what about me, Lumber Baron? Can I have my job back? Let me think about that. Huh. Only under one condition. Pete. <gasps> You're gonna have to wear these. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Lumber Baron. Hey, boss, you want me to pull limo around? Oh, yeah, bring the limo around. Yeah. Oh, Pete's gonna bring the limo around. <laughs> bring the limo around. The limo's coming around. <laughs> where, where to? To the warehouse. Well, go get the limo, Pete. 